welcome back to a new episode here in Swami. In today's video, I'm gonna show you four or five techniques or five motion graphic motion graphics techniques that you can use on your that you can make on DaVinci Fusion. So these are techs that we're gonna use as the base of for a video. And yeah, let's jump straight into it. So the first um, the first technique or method that we can use is simply we're gonna create a background node and we're gonna take the alpha out and then on this background node we're gonna create a paint node we're gonna transfer that to our screen right now so we can only see that and not, for, and not be bothered by our text so for the first thing is we're gonna use the paint node and on the paint node we're gonna select the polyline stroke here and we can also change the brush that we want. If we want it to be more circular or like rectangle at the ends, we can use that, but it doesn't really matter that much. So, and then what you want to do is you basically just want to create whatever shape you feel like it. So let's create a one that goes here. I'm gonna whoop, make sure you don't like create a bunch of random ones that are weird looking. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't matter. So you can just create one that goes there and then Let's see we can also create Make it go a little bit like that. Let's get rid of this right here Yeah, so that's our line and basically once you have your lines what you want to do is you want to let's make it a little bit thinner also and what you want to do is you're gonna go to the stroke controls and you're gonna go to frame whatever it doesn't really matter you can play around with it and you're gonna make it go adjust the end here and you're gonna create a keyframe and then you want to go let's go 10 frames and make it all the way there to the end so the whole thing shows up and then after a couple of frames let's say four more frames you want to change it right on start and make it go all the way to the end and then that will look all right but if you want to make the start follow it earlier you want to go to a couple frames before and just move this right on start a little bit so then it will just start moving before before the thing reaches the end okay and then that's it pretty much then what you want to do is you want to just copy and paste these so then you can select this one and you can pretty much and then holding control you're gonna be able to just move it around whatever you want and you can also edit these points and since you have the animation ready you don't have to make that many um changes to it and let's just copy one more time and we're gonna move this one this way i think not there and you might be wondering why it's not showing up right now and that's probably because of the um ah because our screen is only showing on that one all right let's get right into it there so now we have our lines here and you can also just change the direction of these and then if you put this point on that side like that we'll go like that so that's pretty cool i guess and you can also just change the size to make them a little bit different from each from each other and then you can also just add this spline tool and press f on the beginning and end of them not in the middle one because otherwise it will just wait a little bit in the middle and we kind of don't want that to happen all right and then that's pretty much it um we can create a merge node and then just connect it to these other merge later on i'm gonna create two all right, and then um, the next, so if we merge these together with our text, let's see how it looks. It just adds a little cool effect. All right, so the next technique that we wanna use is we're gonna create um, bubbles or like explosive bubbles, I guess you could say. And for that, we're gonna use a technique that's pretty easy to do. We're gonna create a background and then we're gonna create an eclipse, ellipse, and we're gonna move these to here and we're gonna move the we're gonna take the solid out of the ellipse and we're gonna increase the border width of our circle we're gonna make it a little bit smaller too we can make it a little bit thinner also like 
that's good and we can also play around with the color let's make it light blue and the way that we're going to animate this is by going to the end first we're going to create a keyframe let's say in frame 24 because later on we can adjust the keyframe up here to see when we want each thing to start right and we're going to create um a keyframe for border width and then we want our border width to end at frame 22 and it'll go back to zero so then our here when we're in the last frame we're gonna go here to the transforming transform options the width and the height and then once we have that we're gonna make it um we're gonna go let's say to frame 15 a couple of frames before the start of the other animation and we're gonna make this zero so now it's gonna add that bubble sort of like effect to it and that's pretty much it the next then you can just pretty much copy these and instead of adding here at merge you can just add add change the paint mode to add so then you can just copy these and add a couple more bubbles and then after that we simply connect it to our merge node right here and that should be it let's let's try to look at it with all the bubbles that's pretty cool i like it all right so then the next one would be we're gonna for the next one we're gonna use the duplicate tool and first of all we're gonna create a tr another transform and another and we're gonna use the paint again paint note and move it a little bit we're gonna make the trans the background transparent and then for the paint note we're gonna go and try to see if we can find the center of it it's not letting it out. oh we're gonna select the polyline stroke again and now we can see the center and when we click here in the center a cool technique that you can use is you, if you hold shift, it's gonna make a straight line. So now that we have the straight line, we don't have to worry that much about it being weirdly angled. All right, so then from there, we can adjust the softness of it also. And we are gonna use the duplicate tool to animate a circle, sort of like a, a cool circle effect, I guess, for behind our text. Right, so then once we have the duplicate tool, we're gonna add like let's say 10 copies, and then we're gonna go to the angle and press 360, which is the radius of a circle, and we're gonna divide it by 10, and then we have that cool effect right here. So then we can go back to our paint and we're gonna select this node here, this line right here. You can also play around with it and it'll have a really cool effect. But we don't we don't we're not gonna play around with that one there we're gonna make it a little bit smaller so we're gonna hold it with shift also and then make it a little bit smaller and we're also gonna adjust the size of it a little bit make it a little bit thinner you know all right and then we can also play our if we play around with these um not there if we play around with our movement so tool here i guess you could call it uh, we can adjust the positioning position positioning of it all right so then what we are gonna do is we are gonna go back and use the same right on animation here so we're gonna go back here to frame let's say 16 and we're gonna make it all the way small we're gonna go to 24 eight frames forward and then 28 four from four four frames more for the ending so then we have that cool animation here and then one another thing we can add here is we're gonna play with the rotation so we can go back a couple frames before the thing starts to show up and we're gonna play around by clicking the angle here and then at the end two more frames we can go let's go to the left so it's gonna go clockwise like that so then now when it animates it's sort of like gonna follow that circle shape and it's also going to add a little bit of a curvature effect to our lines and then we can also just connect it here to the merge node and see how that looks 
All right, so for the technique number four that we're going to use is we're going to create a background again, and we're going to create an ellipse here, and we're going to change the solid, take it out, and then make it a little bit thicker. And we can play around with the sizing of these two, but it doesn't really matter. And then we have to press Control plus uh, and the space bar, and we're going to ask a mask paint gonna add it there you gotta make sure that your mask paint is added to the ellipse and not the other way around because otherwise it will make things more complicated and it's not going to work all right so we're gonna put these in the this other viewer here and on the mask paint we're gonna use the polyline stroke again and we're gonna create a, a circle around this other circle here and don't worry about the size of it for now because we're gonna adjust that later on so once we have that adjusted, what we want to do is we're going to increase the size of these also. And we're going to take the softness out. And that looks really weird, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this ellipse here. And we're going to change the paint mode to, to multiply. So now our paint is going to ask as our it's going to act as our filler here. So then we can go to our mask paint here and we're going to use the same technique similar technique that we did before, but we're going to do what we are going to do is we're going to use the right on here. And we're going to animate this part right here. So we're going to go here and we're going to go to frame. Let's do the same thing. We're going to use it from zero here. And then all the way here to the whole thing. And then the next thing that we can do is we can go and duplicate this and we duplicate it, we can change the size of these. We can also rotate this. So we have a different cool effect also. And it's going to look even different. We can also offset this. So they're not going to show up at the same time like that. And then we can also play around with the color. Let's let's make this one. Uh, Make a yellow one. All right, yeah, that's cool. All right, and then after we have that, you basically can just go ahead and add these to a new merge node also. And then we're gonna see how that looks. So it looks pretty cool adding all those cool things there. And also you have to play around with more of the keyframes and this the adding like softness with the spline tool, but that is pretty much it. Then the last one that I wanted to show you for the last one that I wanted to show you, for the last technique, the bonus technique number five, we're going to create a background and you can, um, after you create the background, let's see, we're going to adjust these ellipse here, this circle right here. And then we can also change to the duplicate because right now we have it going that way. What we want to do is we're going to put a 0.5 so it's on the same one and then we're going to play around there. So that's basically click creating the background, the ellipse, and then the duplicate tool and putting it that way. And then once you have the merge node, what you want to do is you add a background to your merge node and alpha it out. And then you add a mask here. That's you basically just copy these ellipse here and add it as a mask to your merge node. So we have it there on top of our mask right now. So we're going to go here to frame 14 and then we're going to press in the center here. We're going to make it go a little bit back here and then we're going to go to frame 22 and go all the way to the other side. If you you can also adjust the size and then you can also just go back and then add a new merge node. There's a lot of merging going around and then let's see how that looks with all the things together like that. So that's basically it. Those are the five techniques that you can do to create cool motion graphics in DaVinci Fusion. Yeah, I hope that you learned something new today and that you had fun and, and learned something cool. And I hope to see you in the next video here in Swabi.